Hey guys, it's Vicky, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Coastal Sense brush set that I bought. I bought this, um, they had a special promotion going on where you got this, you got an eyeshadow palette, um, a blush palette, and a concealer palette. I, um, I have the other stuff here, but I don't know if I did, I can't remember if I did a haul with you guys or not. I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, and I bought... I might as well do this like a Coastal Sense haul too then. Um, <laughs> I can't remember which palette it came with. It came with this 88 Original Eyeshadow Palette. And I haven't used um, these palettes yet. Oh, well, you guys can see my setup in the mirror. <laughs> but this is the eyeshadow it came with. Um, this is the blush palette it came with. I haven't touched any of these products yet. I will be soon though, because I'm excited to try them out. Um, I bought this other palette separately because um, to get free shipping you have to spend $50. And I think this was only like $7 and that's all I needed to um, to get free shipping. Or I had to pay either $7 or $9 for shipping, so why not get another product? Um, this is it here. The Blush 2 palette. And the camouflage palette. If I can open this thing. Alright. This is it here. So you guys are going to see me working with these palettes soon. Um, and I'm going to do a review on this stuff as well. But this video is all about the Coastal Sets brush set. I have used this in a couple of my tutorials because I wanted to... Um, I wanted to make sure that I use as many of the brushes as possible so I can give you guys a completely honest review. So, this is it opened up. Band brush here and all the other brushes here. This little protective flap comes up and you can see all the brushes. And there are 22 brushes. Okay, so I'll take each one out and tell you guys about them. Um, this is the fan brush. I haven't used this yet. It's really soft. It's, um, it's a duo fiber brush. As you can see, these are the black fibers here, and then the white fibers come up on the top. Um, I haven't used that yet. I'm probably going to use that for, um, highlighting or maybe, like, um, dusting eyeshadow fallout from underneath my eyes instead of using makeup wipes. Um, this is a duo fiber foundation brush. There's still some foundation in it. I washed it, but obviously I didn't do a good job, so I need to rewash it. But, um, I really like this brush. It, um, it spreads the product evenly and very quickly, and it, it doesn't look, like, liney. You know how sometimes you could use a brush, like, um, like the straight foundation brushes, like, not like this one. This one's a good brush. But, um, like my e.l.f. one, like this, they can make you look, like, streaky. That's the word I'm looking for, streaky. So this one's not like that at all. And this is a small stipple brush. I use this for um, blending out my under eye concealer when I do my bright eye look like this right now. So I love this brush. Um, this is their blush brush. I've only used this a couple times and I use this to um, to contour. Not really for blush because I like my um, Real Techniques blush brush. That's the only blush I really use for blush. Um, and this is a powder foundation, well not really a powder foundation, it's a flat top foundation brush and I use it for my powder foundation. This was in my, um, my favorite brushes video and I really like this brush. I, um, I use the other two, um, stippling brushes for liquid and I use this one for powder. This is the foundation brush. I actually haven't used this one, but, um, I could tell it's a good brush just by the way it feels and, um, how... How like stiff it is. It's not too stiff and it's not too flimsy. So I'm pretty sure it's a good brush. After I use this, I'll let you guys know how I like it. This is the concealer brush. It's dirty. Obviously, I've been using it. Um, I can't remember when I used it, but um, I like this. It um, it's small enough and like it's curved, as you can see. Like you can get right into that inner corner and underneath your eye makeup and blend it out well without messing up your makeup. So I like this brush. Now I'm going into the eyeshadow brushes. This is a dome brush, a pointed dome brush. Um, to use in your crease, this one is a big flat eyeshadow brush. Or you can use it, um, sometimes I use it to set my under eye makeup because it is so big. 
and it's flat. This is an angled foundation, not foundation, eyeshadow brush. And I mainly use this to, um, to blend out colors, bring them up higher towards my brow bone. And this is another fluffy brush. You can use this for this, this foundation, this eyeshadow on that. <laughs> you can use that for blending or for packing colors on your eyelid. And this is a, a rounded pencil brush. Very similar to um, the e.l.f. brush that I always use. And this one is more pointed version of that. It's very similar to the e.l.f. brush as well. And this is another flat eyeshadow brush. This one's small. So this one will be more um, good for more precise looks. And this is a synthetic fiber um, eyeshadow brush. You can use this for... Um, pigments if you want to wet them. This will grab onto them a lot better than regular brushes. Um, and this is a smudge brush or um, like a short eyeshadow brush. I mainly use this for underneath my uh, my waterline to apply my colors with this. Almost done. <laughs> and these are smaller ones. And then you have this one. Okay, now we're going into the angled brushes. This is an angled eyeshadow brush. This brush is um, it's not very thin, so I wouldn't recommend recommend I wouldn't recommend <laughs> using it for eyeliner because it's it's going to be kind of difficult to work with. Um, this one, however, I did use for eyeliner. I like this one a lot. It's a lot thinner, as you guys can see, and it's um it's pretty stiff, but it's also movable. And this one is a smaller version of that. This one would be even more precise if you wanted a really, really thin line with um, using gel liner. You can see that one. And this very last one, lash. What the freak? I can't talk to it. It was wrong with me, you guys. The very last one is um, is a smudger, like a sponge type smudger. This one's really stiff. It's not like a regular smudger. I like this one because um, the smudger that I got with my my Mac brush set. By the way, I got rid of that thing because it's freaking whack. And the, the hairs and the brushes keep coming out. So I just, I just got rid of it. Um, but I like this one. It's stiff and I don't think this one's going to come off because that's what happened with my other one. It just came right off when I was smudging stuff out. So that is the Coastal Scents brush set. Um, Coastal Scents, they're always, always, always having deals. I, um, I signed up as, I don't know, a subscriber or whatever to them. So, they send me emails whenever they have sales. So, um, they probably have a sale right now. I'll go on and look, and I'll leave the, info, uh, the information for you guys in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.